It's a real-time virtual reality experience of uh, what it would be like to go down uh, a turn-of-the-century coal mine um, in based around Hemingfield Colliery which is being restored which is nearby where I live in Darfield and uh, it's, it's in Elsica. Well they put on a headset and they have two controllers which uh, in this case it's a Davy lamp that they're holding and they, you can move around uh, in it's like a video game and it's like a film but it's much more immersive than any of those mediums or any medium that's gone before really it feels like you're there I think this is an amazing project so I'm really excited to be part of it because it's like stepping into somebody's head it's like simultaneously stepping into the past and into the future and into somebody's imagination. So my job was to write a little narrative that's going to accompany you through the pit, listening to my voice, just explaining a little bit, being a little bit poetic and also helping you not to feel too lonely. Because I think when you're down this pit, just with your Davy lamp, you might feel like you're on your own, but you're not, I'm beside you. You're going to be able to see the, uh, the, surf, the pit top uh, winding gear and buildings as they were around 1902 that's based on some photographs and reference material and you're going to be moving through the pit top at your own pace uh, looking around then you're going to go down in the in the cage down the shaft of the pit bottom along the tunnels uh, you'll be able to pick up uh, and examine fossils and pieces of coal and get more information from Ian uh, then you'll be going to the coal face and to see what conditions were like in turn of the century uh, Emminfield. The first time I put the helmet on it is astonishing. I'm stood in Ian's front room and I put it on and suddenly the front room disappears and there you are down the pit and that magic never disappears. The more I do it the more excited I get by it and the more excited I get by the possibilities. So I've been watching this process being a little tiny part of it for several months and I think the sky is the limit, although it isn't actually because the pit tops the limit.